Grandpa was the best killer there ever was, or so they say in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. But in order for him to unleash his true powers, it's up to you to collect blood throughout the match and feed it to him. So today on Gamerize, we're talking about the quickest ways to level up Grandpa and take advantage of his victim hunting skills. If you want to be the most effective killer, you'll have to learn from the best. Even though Grandpa is immobile, he is an essential asset to the deranged family in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. His main sonar ability reveals the location of victims for a short period of time, and the higher Grandpa's level, the more powerful his abilities become. You will also unlock unique skills for Grandpa as you progress through the skill trees of each family member. There are a ton of abilities that can be game-changing, like modifying Grandpa's sonar ability to not only highlight victims, but highlighting important entryways and doors that the victims have recently opened. If your main goal is to collect blood and max out Grandpa's level as fast as possible, then the strategy begins right at the character selection. Each killer has different base stats, including blood harvesting. The blood harvest stat determines the amount of blood each character collects from various sources in the game. Both the cook and the hitchhiker are family members with a decent blood harvesting skill, but with having the highest blood harvesting stat and some of the best mobility in the game, there isn't a killer more efficient at collecting blood than Sissy. Sissy's ability to move quickly across the map and gather the most amount of blood from buckets makes her the ideal family member for a blood harvest build. Now that we know the perfect killer for this role, let's talk strategy. The fastest way to collect blood throughout each match is collecting them from the buckets. Even though you could get more blood from executing a victim compared to a blood bucket, Unlike victims, buckets are going to be available for you to harvest from the very start of each map, and also in large quantities. Blood buckets are scattered throughout each map, and in order for you to maximize your blood harvesting, you should establish a strategic patrol path. This path should include enough buckets to get you as close to a full blood vial as possible, as each character does have a limit on how much blood they can carry at once. The patrol path should also lead you to Grandpa at some point so you can of course feed him and level him up. A couple of things to keep in mind when establishing a patrol path is 1. Grandpa and the blood buckets do have several different spawn locations on each map. So it's important at the start of each match to utilize your family vision ability. This is a sonar ability that each family member gets and it highlights important objects through walls including blood buckets and Grandpa. So utilizing the skill at the start is going to help you establish a patrol path very quickly. Another thing to keep in mind is that the blood buckets do have a cooldown. Once emptied, it takes about 2.5 minutes until a blood bucket can be harvested again. But you will only receive about half as much blood after this first initial cooldown. It takes about 3.5 minutes for the bucket to become completely full. These cooldowns will give you enough time to do other important tasks as a family member, such as checking on generators and looking for wandering victims. Remember, the reason why we're leveling Grandpa in the first place is to ultimately find the victims. So if Grandpa's sonar goes off and reveals a close victim, make sure you capitalize that and hunt them down. <laughs> the last thing to keep in mind is when you have a full vial. Remember, ideally on your patrol path, it'll lead you to Grandpa when you have somewhere around a full blood vial. But if you ever do end up with a full blood vial and you're nowhere near Grandpa, he's going to highlight yellow and indicate that you have maxed out on your blood and that you should go to him immediately and feed him. Alright, now let's talk perks. There are a various amount of perks throughout the game, and there are several for the blood harvesting skill. But in my opinion, there's only a few that are really going to help you maximize on your blood harvesting. The first is Universal Donor. This is going to help increase the amount of blood you gain from buckets. This is the most useful perk because again, we're getting most of our blood throughout the match from blood buckets. So if we're gaining additional 20-40% from each blood bucket, that's really going to add up throughout the whole match. The next most helpful perk is Siphon. Siphon is going to give you a flat increase to your blood harvesting stat. This is a fairly beneficial perk because it's going to increase your blood harvesting from all sources. But keep in mind that as you progress through the skill tree of each member, you're going to get a lot of attribute points. And you can spend these attribute points by increasing one of the three stats. And if you're going a blood harvesting build, you of course want to dump all these attribute points into the blood harvesting stat. So if you already have 20 points in that stat already, it might not end up being super impactful. The third most beneficial perk is Surgical. 
In my opinion, this perk is going to be a little bit more beneficial to those killers who are more focusing on hunting down the victims, especially Leatherface, because straight from the start of the match, Leatherface is right near the victims in the first place, so you can really capitalize on this perk. But if you're a family member that starts above ground, remember, you don't see a victim until about 2 or 3 minutes into the match, so you're going to benefit a lot more from the Universal Donor perk that increases your gains from Blood Buckets. And keep in mind that even though Sissy is the best at blood harvesting, gathering blood is an important role for all family members. So if you prefer a different character, your role might be slightly different, but if you apply some of these tips to your playstyle, you will still become a more effective killer. And that is our strategy and tips on the fastest way to level up Grandpa. And if you have additional tips, let us know down in the comments, as we're always trying to perfect our skill, and it's important to learn from others. If you found this video helpful, leaving a like is a free and easy way for you to show a ton of support to the channel, and we always appreciate it. That's it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one.